Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS Video Far tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install simple emotes inside GTA 5 single player for LS Video Far. So what simple emotes does, for all of you that see these 5M players holding their vest, holding their duty belt, putting their hands on cars while they're on traffic stops, all them animations that you see, this brings it to single player. So you guys are able to use all these animations inside single player. So big, big shout out to the creator. Let's show some love to the creator. Then also if you go over here to the credits right here, you can also see all the people that helped out with this plugin so show some love to them uh big shout out to every single one of them make sure you guys go ahead and scroll down show some love to them by smashing that like button hit the heart all that good stuff show some love to the creator because i absolutely love using this and you guys have been asking me how to install it so i'm showing you how to install it today so let's go and get into it. what you want to do is start off by going to your gta 5 main directory so i'm going to go to steam steam by library i'm going to go to grand theft auto 5 i'm going to right click and go to manage and browse local files that's going to pull up my GTA 5 main directory. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to the page right here for LS Video Far. I will have this link down in the description. So, all you guys have to do is click on the link down below. It'll send you to this page and you go ahead and get started. Now, if you are new to the channel, if you could do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button. Help this channel reach 100 thousand subscribers and I'm going to help you install this inside your game. Now, for those of you that play LS Video Far a lot, Believe me, I have tons of tutorials on my channel to show you how to install the best plugins, the best mods inside your game to make your game that much better. So definitely check the channel out, but let's get into it. So what you guys want to do is click download this file, click agree and download, and I'm going to click here so it starts downloading fast. Now you do need something to open this file up, so I recommend WinRAR or you can also use 7-zip, but make sure you have something to open up. I'm going to click open file, and what we're going to do is go inside this Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. I'm going to click inside here, and now what you want to do is you want to go to your GTA 5 main directory that you opened up through Steam, or wherever you got it from, just as long as you're on your GTA 5 main directory, and what you want to do is go ahead and take these four files, drag and drop. Now make sure you're not clicked on any folder, and do not hover over a folder when you drag and drop. Go over here to the side, just like I am right here, so I'm not clicked on any folder. So what I'm going to do is take these four files, drag and drop over here to the side. I'm going to replace the files in the destination, just like that. So now what we're going to do is go inside the plugins folder. We're going to go right here where it says simple emotes folder. We're going to go inside. We're going to go right here where it says simple emotes. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click edit. And what I'm going to do is go in here and change this from F5 to F7. Now you can keep it to F5 if you don't use F5, but I do use F5. So I change it to F7 because I do not use anything for F7. And the F7, if you change it to F7 or keep it F5, this is the menu key. This is how you pull up the menu. So you can also go through here and change some stuff up. So you have right here, crouch key is left control key. You have crawl key, right control key. You have point key, B. So what point key is, is to point your finger at someone. You can hit the letter B on your keyboard and it will start pointing. Uh, you got cancel emote key. This is very important. So if you use the emote and you don't want to use it no more, you can hit the letter X on your keyboard. You cancel emote modifier key. You could change that if you want, but I'm going to keep it the way it is. And we also have um, right here. So if you don't want these keys to be used for crouch key, for left control key, uh, crawl key, right control key, you guys can go ahead and change them from true to false. So say you didn't want crouch key to be enabled, you can change this from true to false. Now that I changed this over to F7 instead of F5, and I want to save it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top, I'm going to click file and click save, just like so. All right. So now what we're going to do is going to click X, and we are going to go ahead and go through the next step for the next step you will need to have open iv if you do not have open iv i'll have a tutorial link down below to show you how to install open iv for those of you that have it what you want to do is go to grand theft auto 5 go to windows we're going to open this up once we get inside open iv we are going to go ahead and go to the top i'm going to enlarge this we're going to go to the top click edit mode and click yes make sure you guys have a mods folder if you do not have a mods folder again watch that tutorial for installing open iv for those of you that have it, you want to go inside your mods folder, go to update x64 DLC packs. Now, if you don't have the DLC packs folder, I'll show you guys right here how to do that. What you guys want to do is go to your, so go to the top, click GTA V. You want to go to update x64 DLC packs. And you just want to find a DLC pack in here that you want to use. I always use patch day 25. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click on DLC.RPF. And it should say copy the mods folder if you, for you. If it does not, then uh, it should say show the mods folder. And that means it's already in the mods folder like I have. But for those of you that don't have it, you'll go ahead and click copy the mods folder. 
I'm going to click show in mods folder and it's going to send me over to the mods folder. Now, what I'm going to do is go back up to the top and go GTA V. Now, to install this, you guys need to follow these steps. You're going to want to go to your mods folder. Always put mods inside the mods folder. So, mods folder, update, x64, DLC packs. And we're going to stay right here. Now, we're going to pull the download back up. Now, what I'm going to do is go back one. So, we were inside the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. I'm going to go back one. And we're going to go to required content. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go DLC package. And if I go inside this folder right here and click on it, it's going to say DLC.RPF. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. So I'm going to go back one and I'm going to keep this folder just as it is. So what you want to do is take this folder right here, drag and drop into OpenIV, just like so. And if it did not drag and drop, make sure edit mode is on. If you do not have edit mode on, it is not going to work for you. So again, drag and drop into here. And if you look through here, you're going to see it right here inside your DLC packs folder. So you're going to see that folder right there. So what we are going to do is also go to OpenIV. We're going to go to the very top. We're going to click GTA V and then follow these steps. So go to mods, go to update, update.rpf, common, data. What you want to do is scroll down until you see DLC list.xml. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click edit. Just like so. I'm going to go to the very bottom. And what we are going to do is go ahead and copy this one right here. So it doesn't matter what your last line says. I could take any of these lines right here. So I could take this one right here, right click, click copy, go to the very end of the last one. So you see right here, I'm going to hit enter. And just like that, it's going to give us a space to go ahead and work with. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click paste. And just like that, we just copy that. So it does not matter which one you use. I'll go ahead and show you that again. So I can go right here and just copy this one. Right click, click copy, go to the end, click enter, right click, and click paste. Now, the thing that does matter is the name that's in between right here. So, right here, what you see I have highlighted, it doesn't matter what yours says right there. It's not going to match up to mine, but that is what we're going to change. So, right here, I'm going to copy the name of this folder. I'm going to right click, click copy. I'm going to go inside OpenIV, and we're going to edit this right here. So, I'm going to take this, right click, click paste, and it should look exactly like that. Now, item over here to the left should be always lined up, and right here to the right does not matter. But make sure that you put that in there and replace whatever was in there before. So, like mine says V Remastered right there. If I wanted to take that one, I would take the name of this and replace it. But as long as you have that in there, hopefully that's not confusing to you guys. But it's very important that yours looks exactly as mine does. Just like that. Now, make sure that there is not a space in between paths that's down below just like this or you will have problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit backspace, backspace, and just like that, I'm going to make sure all this stuff is lined up. So just like that, what we're going to do is click save. And we now have that inside our game. Let's go and jump inside GTA 5, show you guys exactly how to use this and how to save the keys on your keyboard for the animation that you want to use while you're playing the game. So let's go and jump inside GTA 5. Okay, so now that I'm inside GTA 5, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the Simple Emotes plugin. To start off with, you guys need to load up all your plugins. You can either go to the police station and go on duty, or you can hit F4. And what you want to do is type in Reload All Plugins. Once you hit Reload All Plugins and hit Enter and let that load in, once that's done loading, what you want to do is type in Force Duty, and then hit Enter on that, and that's going to load up all your plugins. Like I said, Simple Emotes is a plugin, so you do have to all have all your plugins loaded up. So once you are done with that and you are on patrol, what you guys can do by default it is F5. But if you change it like I did, mine is F7. So if you did not change it, you're going to want to click F5. If you did change the keybind to open up the menu, you want to hit the key that you set it to. Mine is F7, so I'm going to hit F7. And you can see right here we have the emote menu. We also have walking style, we have scenarios, and we have facial expressions. So today I'm just going to show you the basics of how to set keys to be able to use them on your keyboard without going in the menu. So what you want to do is go to the emote menu and basic emotes you have 560 here you also have accessory you have group emotes group emotes will not work with anything because it is meant for like 5m for other players to be with you to use that emote so uh group emotes will not work now you have dance emotes where you can be in here dancing just like this now to cancel out of this emote all you have to do is hit x on your keyboard and it will cancel out of it now let's go to basic emotes so if I go in and scroll down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ones that I love using. So actually, let's go to accessory emotes. We're going to go right here to camera. So accessory emotes is going to pull a prop out for you. 
for the animation. So you're going to see right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull a camera out. I'm going to go down here to camera. We have this camera right here. Then we also have this camera right here. So say you like taking pictures of your crime scene. Make the role play that much better. If you want to save this. So this is very important. If you want to save the keybind to your keyboard. So you don't have to come through this menu and open it up. I'm going to show you the steps right here. So if you read right there where it says on the hood of my Ford Mustang right there at the bottom of the simple emotes menu, you're going to see it says no keybind assigned to set a keybind, press shift plus enter. So I'm going to click shift plus enter just like so, and I'm going to set this to a keybind. So make sure you're not using a keybind that's already used for different stuff like stop the pad and, you know, compu light and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this over to the number nine, just like so. So what I mean by that, if I back out of this menu and I hit X, I'm not in the menu, but say I wanted to pull the camera out without having to pull the menu up. All I have to do now is hit the number nine on my keyboard. Just like that, I instantly have the camera right there so I could take pictures just like this, just to take role play to another level. So to go ahead and cancel that, you wanna press the letter X. Now let's go ahead and walk you guys through some more stuff. So F7, if I go to emote menu, I go to basic emotes and I go down and let's go ahead and find hold vest. So if you press the search bar or the space bar on your keyboard, it's gonna bring up a search tab just like this. And if you type in vest, it's gonna bring up anything related to the vest. Now the problem that I have is when I do that, it brings up my cursor for call out interface and it makes it where I can't click on any of this stuff, okay? So it's not letting me uh, click on these animations. So uh, I have to actually go through the menu. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go all the way down until I see something that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down until I find CPR. Let's go to, well, we have cop two right here where he crosses his arm. Now I already have it set to a keybind, but if I don't want that keybind no more, all I have to do is go ahead and hit. So I'm on backspace and I'm gonna show you that I already have it set to a keybind. So it's left bracket. So if I click that, it's already set. But if I want to change that or if I don't want to use it no more, I'm going to hit F7. I'm going to go to emote menu. I'm going to go basic emotes. I'm going to hit shift enter. And then if you read right there, it says press space to, to, to delete the keybind. So if I press space, that keybind is no longer set. So if I go in and scroll down and go to cop two, you're going to see right here on cop two. Let's go ahead and scroll down and go to cop two right here you're going to see it's not set anymore and now it says no keybind assigned to set keybind press shift plus enter so again i'm going to hit shift plus enter and i'm going to go ahead and set this to left bracket just like so so i i got rid of the old keybind and put a new keybind in that i wanted to use so that's how you delete the old keybind and set the new one now let's go ahead and scroll down and I'm gonna show you something else that you could do in this menu so you don't have to keep going all the way through this menu. So I'm gonna go down to CPR, because I like using CPR, and you can see right here I have nothing assigned to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter and show you exactly what it does. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a keybind for this on my keyboard. So I'm gonna hit shift enter, and what I'm gonna do is put this as right bracket. So I'm gonna put it as right back bracket, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. So let's go back to CPR, we're going to go back down to CPR, and what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and save it as a favorite. So if I go right here to CPR, if I hit delete on my keyboard, it's going to instantly save this as my favorite. So it's at the very top. So if I ever want to come back in here and change the keybind real fast, it will be at the very top for us from now on. So if I back out, click X, you're going to see I'm not in, in any animation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit right bracket. And just like that, I did not have to go through the menu. I can just hit a key on my keyboard and it instantly pulls it up. Now, a lot of you want to know how to hold the vets. So again, I'm going to go back into the menu. I'm going to go to emote menu. I'm going to go basic emotes. I'm going to go all the way down until I get to the H because it says hold vets. So it goes all the way from A to Z. So all I have to do is just go all the way down until it says hold vest. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set that. The hold vest. We have hold vest one, hold vest two, hold vest three, four, five, and six, which uh, looks like two all the way through six is the same thing. You also have holster right here. So if you want to hold your hand on your holster, you could do it just like this. But for hold vest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a keybind by hitting shift plus enter. And I'm going to go ahead and set it as a keybind of N on my keyboard. N as in Nora. 
And just like that, I'm gonna click X, click in, and you can see right here, I am using that animation. I am able to walk around just like so. Click X to get out of it. Now for scenarios, scenarios you cannot save, but I'll show you what scenarios can do, especially if you wanna take pictures. So what I like to do is I'll go up, I'll press F7, I'll go right here to scenarios and go to bum bin and it'll make it look like I'm searching the vehicle. Now I'm gonna back out of this menu. And like I said, you cannot set a keybind for scenarios, but you can go ahead and take good pictures with it. So you can see right here, it makes it look like I'm searching the vehicle. And to cancel out of this animation, all I have to do is press X on my keyboard. And just like that, I am no longer in the animation. Now, uh, by default, like I showed you in the menu for simple emotes, uh, by default, if you hit left control, so left control will make it where you crouch down and then you have to hit left control again to get up. Right control is going to make it where you get down on the ground. Just like this and you can also crawl so you can see I'm down on the ground. If I hit right control again, it's going to make me get up just like this. So let's go ahead and get down on the ground and then get up just like that. Now when you are on the ground, you could go ahead and uh, crawl. So just like this, you can see me crawling and then hit right control again and like I said it'll get you back up now for a point in your finger is the letter B on your keyboard do not mess these animation keybinds up because if you mess it up with a different keybind it's gonna be a pain in the butt so make sure you know what you're setting your keybinds up to but you do also know how to go ahead and delete that keybind and set a new one so I showed you how to do that but the point is the letter B on your keyboard so you can see me pointing just like that and to go ahead and stop pointing you can hit the letter B one more time but there it is, that is the basics to Simple Emotes. You guys are good to go. We got you all set up. You could go through here and look at the rest of them, but we are just chilling like a villain. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe out there. If this did help you, definitely smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Tons of tutorials on this channel to make your game that much better. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe out there. Peace.